Hey guys, it's Leo Stargazer. I'm here today with our sign-specific weekly astrological tarot reading. This is for the week of September 10th through September 16th, and this reading is for Taurus. So really quickly, I want to go over the two things happening this week that I'm going to be focusing on for the reading, and one big theme. And that theme is moving forward. Everyone and all of us and Mercury are going to be moving forward this week. We have, um, it's all taking place in Virgo too, we have a new moon in Virgo on Thursday, which is a great reset point. It's um, it's going to be really a really great time for recess, resetting and refreshing and, and intention setting because the next day on Friday, Mercury, who's been retrograding through Virgo, stations direct. Finally moving our biggest retrograde journeys forward. Venus station direct last week, Mercury stations direct this week, the new moon in Virgo, all telling us to start looking to the future and start heading in that direction. So this week, I wanted to do a tarot reading to help us understand where we had success during this retrograde period, where we had challenges, and advice on going forward. So we'll do a three card spread with those positions. And as I begin my shuffle, I'm going to be thinking about the intention that I set for us this week. And that intention is move forward. So I chose move forward for obvious reasons. Uh, this whole, the whole theme of the week is moving forward. With Mercury stationing direct, it's a really big moment. I, I'm sure we are all ready for Mercury to head in the right direction, um, but also because we have that really, really exciting new moon also in Virgo. So it really is this time where everything about Virgo in our lives and where that is in our chart is going to be imbued with the idea of a fresh start. So I'm super, super excited about that. So let's move forward and let's have this tarot help us. So in the success position, where did we have success during this whole retrograde process so far? Eight of cups reversed. Okay, let's just move on. What was challenging during Mercury's retrograde for you? Five of Swords reversed. There was a lot challenging. Huh. Advice. What advice can we have to move on from that and move forward? Two of Swords. Okay. All right. So really find this spread super interesting for you, Taurus, because I know that a couple of our readings recently have been hinting that they haven't been hinting towards any problems for you. Um, most of the Taurus readings I've had over the last couple weeks have been really promising. Um, I think September's was really promising, so for the whole month, you're good to go. Uh, but this shows that maybe this phase of Mercury's retrograde period was pretty difficult, but the advice is really clear, but so let's get started. As a success, we got the Eight of Cups. So this may be what I was seeing in the other readings. I think that what this is showing me is that this retrograde period has showed you where and when you need to walk away from something and on to something bigger and better. Even if it's just like a spiritual journey, this shows you that. Um, Virgo is in your fun sector, so I think that Mercury may have been getting in the way of that, and maybe as Mercury stations direct, what was maybe getting in the way of your fun, getting in the way of having really pleasurable experiences, of feeling really rooted in that, maybe what that was for you is going to shift big time this week. Uh, because it seems that in the challenge position, you may be have you maybe have had to deal with some some defeat. Maybe that's how you knew how to walk away and that was responsible. Uh, maybe that loss helped you understand 
that there was something about, something wasn't giving you the pleasure you deserved. Something wasn't feeling as fun as it should. Maybe hopefully it's that simple. Um, but there was some kind of defeat. Because it's reversed, it's still not. It still probably wasn't great, <laughs> um, but you're dealing with it now. Reversed means you're dealing with it right now. Reverse five of swords means you're dealing with whatever that was. You're dealing with it head on, so it still may be tough. It, but I think you used that to help you figure out how to how to move on from something. So where you're headed though is forward with Mercury and towards using that those lessons. You left that situation. That was probably the right choice. You're bouncing back from this. You're going to bounce back from whatever that was. And the way you're going to do that is shown to us in advice. It's a two of swords. This card in advice is showing me that you need to... Is showing me that the choice that you made, not only was it the right decision, but that it's going to help you not be defensive. It's going to help you find out how you can take your blindfold off and move forward. Not stay in the state of like, of defensiveness with maybe that defeat puts you in. She's telling me an advice, you're ready to move forward. And you should. If you didn't make a choice, if there is something you feel stuck in, you're going to need to do that as soon as Mercury stations direct. If you haven't already decided where you're headed in and what direction you're going to move in, you're already moving forward. We all are. That's not the choice. You're going to move forward. The choice is which direction you take. I think the two is showing me you have to choose a direction to take. So you already know you have to go branch out. You already know you have to separate yourself from that situation because of something that maybe you was out of your control or maybe was in your control and and didn't come to fruition the way you wanted it to. Um, but that's okay because you ch you know you need to move forward. Now you need to choose what direction. So this is a week about directionality, forward momentum. You need to choose, and it might literally be one of two options you're choosing from. Either way, by the time Mercury stations direct, when it does, you gotta choose. This spread is telling me choice for you is paramount. This last week of Mercury retrograde, and then right as it stations direct, that choice is key. Because it's going to guide you towards some super fun, super pleasurable experiences. Um, people, places, uh, everything, that, everything that you need to feel grounded, but full of life full of passion, full of pleasure. If you choose that direction, you're good to go. Mercury needs you to do that this week though. So make a decision. You know you have to. Make a decision and you will be on your way to fun. I can't wait to see how it turns out. See you next week.